Justin Timberlake is one of the biggest names in pop, and for good reason. He's dominated the charts for years and was a big influence in the vocal production on Thornhill's Casanova. And in this clip, George talks through this influence and explains how he created the vocal effect used in the verse. Check it out and enjoy. It suits the vibe so well. This is another thing that got missed, like in the Rocktagon. There was, I'm I'm trying not to hate on the guys that are, are set, submitting mixes, but I always look at these things and I go, the evidence is in what I did. You can do it too. I don't have anything super specific that means it's out of reach for you. Um, and I saw a couple of guys just not being super confident with making something theirs and just made vocals sound like vocals. Um, the effect that I picked is a preset, again, from the lo-fi section of Saturn 2. And I think I just dialed down the blend to like 20%. The majority of the performance for this section is just this preset. One second and I try to replay Two seconds ain't enough cause you're my prey Well I saw you there Hands up in the air with your face to the floor It is so close to being spot on We just lose a lot of control and top end Which is why the limiter comes in And then EQ comes in after those stages one second and I try to replay Two seconds ain't enough cause you're my prey Well I saw you there Hands up in the air with your face to the floor Now in the monument session I already showed what exists on the singing and acapella buses The thing that changed for this session is I brought in a high pass filter because of the amount of low end that was being generated from uh, the distorting that I was doing in the song, I couldn't be bothered to filter each individual thing, so I filtered the bus. We've then also got a multiband compressor dealing with what I would call refocusing the effects that we're doing. One second and I try to replay. So for me, vocals sit in this band here. One second and I try. And the section above it. One second and I try to replay So by compressing these we're leveling it out But then by bringing the um, the level up We're just saying We're going I want it to stay here But you're allowed to bring it down If it overloads And then we've just got something in the low end In order to deal with the proximity on the mic One second and I try to replay Which is It's a cool sound But it's not needed when we're working with something that's heavy so next in the chain is it looks like just more filtering which may not even be necessary but we'll turn it on for now and then I'm going to guess this is oh I actually cycled through to a preset that looks like the MXR phase 90 because going on the sexy back thing Justin Timberlake uh, all the vocal effects on that are just guitar amps and guitar pedals so I was just picking off that knowledge and putting that into play. One second and I try to replay. Two seconds ain't enough cause you're my prey. Well I saw you there. Hands up in the air with your face to the floor. Which is just adding some movement, some back and forth movement, and then we've just got Sooth being our friend and taking care with any spitties. One second and I try to replay Two seconds ain't enough cause you're my prey Well I saw you there The unfortunate side of using a lot of distortion means that you start accentuating things that aren't immediately perceivable when you're recording or you're first listening to a recording But that's the majority of the tone uh, for that verse along with then is this just default again? Yeah, default preset on plate reverb. And this section is married off with this effect here. Which is Gajira. 
this plugin must have just come out when I did this song then. And I was just, is it just the chorus pedal I wanted? They need to just release a guitar pedal thing with no amps. But yeah, I just went to town and then I pushed it even further. Yeah, pushed it even further. When you've got the delay set to 0.1 in repeater and you just play with the spread, it just it's just a tonal circuit that messes with the sound uh, in uh, horizontal space rather than like extending it with delay patterns. And then we've just also got a limiter smushing it. Yep, smushing it. <laughs> 